If you know me by now, you know I love to automate pretty much anything in my life that I can. And I love to use Python a lot of times to do it. Some of you have been asking for JavaScript tutorials, which will be coming soon as well. But today we are going to be essentially automating our life. Wait, let me rephrase that. Not just automating our life, but creating for ourselves our own little assistant, essentially, with the use of Python and getting ChatGPT to help. I wanted to include ChatGPT in this tutorial, going through automating with Python and creating a voice assistant for us because the reality is ChatGPT is a tool that developers will continue to use in their day-to-day -day lives or very frequently. And rather than pushing it to the side, but as it continues to get smarter and data gets updated, we need to embrace it and start using it. Okay, I kind of gave it away what we're building today, but we are building a virtual assistant. So we will be using Python, ChatGPT, to use a virtual assistant that we can actually give voice commands to, it will respond to, and track what kind of tasks we are giving. So it's a two-way interactive voice assistant that's virtual that will be running in the background and can listen for certain commands. This is super cool, and I was blown away how easy it is to make this voice assistant. Let's get into it. Okay, so you can see on screen here, I have ChatGPT and we're going to give it a command that will build a Python project for us that will create a voice assistant. So we are able to speak to our computer and it is listening and then it will reply. So this could be to-do list, I was thinking. It could also be set a reminder. Let's, let's get into it. So let's paste this here. Use Python to build a voice assistant that can help you with tasks like setting reminders, creating to-do lists, and searching the web. That was really cool. You can use speech recognition libraries like Speech Recognition and PyTTSX3. My pronunciation on specific uh, modules or packages is really bad. So if I'm saying this terrible, let me know. I'm still kind of new to Python. Honestly, I've been a JavaScript developer for six plus years professionally, but Python is something that I would say up until about a year and a half ago, I really started tinkering with and it just like exploded my love for it because it's so cool and so friendly and so many things you can build. Anyways, as a side note, let's see what it says. You can see though when I did this prompt, I was pretty specific as things of what packages to use, uh, what I want it to do for the task. So the more specific you are, the better result you will get. All right, let's see, it's generating. We'll speed this up. Okay, so you can see here on screen, it wrote the code for us and it also gives comments as well as to what it is doing. So let's kind of go through this. As you can see here, we're defining a function to speak the text. So what we will say, and it will be running and waiting. And then as well, listening. So define a function to recognize the speech. So print speak now. Then when it is listening down here, if we scroll, you can say remind me in the command, create a to-do list and also search for. So let's take this code now, knowing that we're going to have to install some modules and whatnot. Actually, it says that up here, copy code, and create a VS Code project or a project in VS Code so we can run this locally. Let's do it. Okay, so now you can see we have VS Code open and this is just an empty folder that I put into it. So if we go into new terminal here, make sure you're in the actual project, Python Voice Assistant. Actually, I'll link this project in my GitHub down below as well. So if you wanna follow along that way. All right, next what we need to do is create our main file. So let's just go main.py, there we go. And now let's initiate a virtual environment. What this will do is it will allow us to install different modules and packages and run all of those packages and modules just within this project. So you can continue to build other projects outside of this and you'll have to reinstall any packages you want to use again. But this is a great way to kind of contain the, invert the virtual environment. I can't speak today and it's and I've already had like coffee. Maybe too much coffee is the issue. All right. First thing we are going to do is type in python 3 cuz I'm using 3 and then we're going to do and what this will do is oh here we go. We notice new environment has created. Do you want to select it for a workspace? Tell that. You can see here now it has created this new environment uh, folder. Then let's go into this environment folder, 
Perfect, and now you can see we are in the environment. Now we are able to install different packages. So if we go back to ChatGPT here, where are you? This is a problem with too many screens. All right, let's do this. Pip install speech recognition and PY, double T, X, three. I always feel like a hacker when it's like doing this. It's doing, it's just installing, like I'm not doing anything, but it feels so cool. All right, so then if we go back into ChatGPT, let's copy this code and, okay, so we just pasted in the code here and then if you are getting this warning that it's not, uh, cannot be resolved, just exit out of it. We did install you. All right, let's try closing the project and reopening it. It's giving us a little difficulties, but it's already installed. Okay, so I had to shut down VS Code completely and then it started working. So as you can see here, we have our code and we kind of went through it, but as I mentioned, ChatGPT will give you pretty good comments as well. So now one thing I want to note though is which ChatGPT will not tell you is, if this is your first time importing speech recognition package, you actually have to do something else. Let's go back to ChatGPT here. And if I go here, um, this is the error you will get if you try running the code and you've never used speech recognition before. Where is it here? It's right here. So, uh, failed, failed building wheel for Pi Audio. And essentially what it is, is because speech recognition uh, is part of a bigger library. So you actually have to, you can see here for Windows, Linux, um, I just used brew install port audio. Once you do that, brew install port audio, then it will allow you to start using the speech recognition library. If you've used it before, you won't run into this, but if you, if it, your first time, you will run into this error, and then you just need to uh, install run one of these commands depending on what, what computer, what operating system you are using. All right, let's go back into VS Code here and let's just run this and see what happens. Run Python in terminal. Oh, it is saying the same thing. I'm getting the same thing I just told you. All right, maybe I just installed it last time in my project. Well, let's do it again. So copy code port audio, paste, maybe I just installed, that's what it was. Okay, so now let's try again. Let's go run Python. This isn't supposed to happen. Okay, so what I did not install, I'm just going too fast here for you, and for me apparently. Uh, not for you, for me. But no, what I didn't do is after I install, installed that package with brew, I also need to install Pi Audio. So make sure you run this command as well. Then what we can do, I already ran it, so I'm not going to again. Then right click and run Python in terminal. Let's say, create a to-do list. Create a to-do list. Oh, you know what? I gotta do it. I gotta unplug my computer. It's because of the audio. One sec here. Let's do this. I have it set up on my monitors and I don't think my audio is connected to it. So, one sec here. Okay, let's try this again. Create a to-do list. What the heck? Okay, we gotta run this again. Create a to-do list. What are the tasks you want to add to the to-do list? Pick up groceries, go for a walk, finish coding project. Stop. Here's your to-do list. One, go for a walk. Two, project. So it's not perfect as you can see, and it's really cool. So where I'm getting these from is, you can see here, set reminder, remind me create a to-do list, uh, search for, and then you have to actually for the search for one, add some further code, which is super simple. You can just follow along with ChatGPT uh, for in the prompts for it. You can click on, or you can say quit, or if it does not understand, it'll say, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. So say, blah, 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 blah. 
No, it's still very finicky. But isn't that so cool? You can now say you made your own voice assistant. And this is what comes out of the box, so you can get really creative with what this. What should I remind you about? Okay, there we go. It's, it's listening. Remind me to go to sleep tonight. Sure, I'll remind you to there we go, it's listening. Remind me to go to sleep tonight later. Listen, no one said this was perfect, okay? But it is such a fun project and it's a really great thing to include in a bigger project or to start tinkering around with and really stand out to future employers as well by building these different uh, automation tools or tasks that can be part of something bigger to show that you're really creative and utilizing different tools out there. And I think it's a really great, really fun project. I'm linking it down below. All right, we finished it and in record time. We were able to do that really quickly. I think it really goes to show just how powerful it is that with ChatGPT, it's one of those things that anything, any idea that you have and the understanding of how to code, you can now build it at your fingertips. Even if you are just starting out, you can now use something like ChatGPT to help you build the missing pieces you might not understand, debug with it, and in turn, build things that you never even thought were possible for you to build maybe where you're at in your skill level. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, tutorial and also to start using these voice assistants. It's so cool. I just, I showed uh, some friends this before I filmed this version of it and I was showing them. And you know, it's very simple to build, but when you show non-technical people, they're like, this is so, you built this? I'm like, yeah, I built it with ChatGPT. But anyways, uh, leave in the comments what we should automate with our lives, for our lives next with Python. Uh, we can also try some things with JavaScript. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me, your support, and uh, I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.